locked eight of my co-workers inside the Barstool Sports offices for a week. They'll have to live here. They'll have to sleep here. They'll have to compete here. But only one will survive and win the $10,000 grand prize. I'm KFC, and this is season two of Surviving Barstool, presented by Mattress Firm. I felt like I was played the whole time, kind of. You were easy to walk all over because you don't, you didn't really get it. I get the game. I just don't know how to play it very well. Kim was so sweet about it. She handled it so well. She was so understanding, and I felt bad. Didn't feel good, but I had to vote off Kim because I needed to establish trust with all the other contestants again. I didn't feel good about it because I knew that we had sort of made an error. And even though it wasn't gonna be any of us going home, it should have been Grace. Well, like I alluded to, I uh, think it's a dumb move to keep Grace because I think that's one sure number who will uh, follow along with Caroline's plan. The coup has formed where they're trying to flip Jackie and Rudy, which I predicted as well. They would, me and Shay would be the out, on the outside looking in. After voting Kim off unanimously, it was nice to all go back with our word and hang out without any animosity going on. You know, we had a couple drinks, everybody was relaxing, and there was kind of no game discussed at all, which was interesting. I took that as an opportunity that people let their guard down. I kind of went after Caroline and just told her as the person that tabulated the votes for Parcel Idol to say that she won, but it was very close, wildly close, and that kind of sent her into a little bit of a tailspin. It was a strategic move on my part, but again, you know, Bada bing, bada boom, smartest guy in the room right here. We bonded, just played games together, and then around like 12 o'clock or one, we all started looking for the immunity ring. All the downstairs people, you know, who weren't in the suite were downstairs looking for uh, the immunity ring. Uh, so the game was still very much alive. I mean, everyone, I'm, it's actually pretty impressive how much people are competing for this thing. The only people that know that I have a second clue are Che, Eddie and Jackie. And once I gave them that piece of information, I knew that they would trust me and that will then help us figure out what's going on. I'll tell you what, man, this fucking ring, I have found every single golden item in this office and I still have not found the ring. Either I'm the biggest idiot on earth or someone else has it. So either one of those outcomes is bad. I have no fucking clue where this thing is. I've looked everywhere. The one interesting thing is that Caroline spent zero time looking for it. And that makes you think that, well, she might have it then. Because if you have it, why would you look for it? And if you don't look for it, then that means you might have it. So people are thinking that she may have it. Um, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find anything anywhere. I don't know who else has it or no one has it. If no one has it, that is insane. I'm thinking moving forward. We gotta get Jackie and O'Malley on our team. Okay. And I think, depending on who doesn't win the challenge tomorrow, it's gotta be Che or Eddie. Agreed. Because I think that that's the only group where we get the, the majority. I think you, all the boys could get together. I think maybe like me and O'Malley and Jackie could get together. But if it's us four, I think that's the strongest pod we got. I'd definitely be into that. Well, let's talk about it tomorrow. Oh, I think yeah. it's time to go to bed. Three days straight. This is uh, this is it. So I'm gonna hit the lights and go to bed. That's it. On to uh, day four. Oh. See ya. Today's gonna be a uh, late morning sleeping. Everyone was up, or most people, looking for the immunity ring. Eddie and I looked till about 3.15 in the morning until Lily were gonna like fall over. O'Malley was still going at 3.15 and she was exhausted. She, she knows where she stands in this game and she's doing everything she can to survive, which is smart. A lot to unpack, but I'm getting up early. You gotta keep eyes everywhere and I mean, O'Malley lives it, but sleep when you're dead. Junk. I got junk sleep. I feel like forced junk. Good morning. I, I got some junk sleep last night. I do not feel ready for today. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm breaking. Waking up today, I am extremely anxious. I feel like everybody's out to get me. I'm pretty sure that the girls know that I'm teaming up with the guys. My goal today is to win immunity, get Grace and Caroline on my side, flip Rudy, take out Eddie and Che. My head felt like a two-ton nuclear weapon about to be dropped. It was not good. So being in the suite last night legitimately, maybe it saved my life. Is that a stretch? So I had the best sleep ever in the mattress from suite, but we are like, you know, three days in. So there's some mental games going on, um, but I definitely have the advantage from sleeping there. So I'm feeling good going into the challenges, but um, the game's getting, getting rough. Welcome, day four of Surviving Barstool. Find your stump, we'll talk about the challenge. Careful. All right, day four. It's uh, when a lot of the stress starts to set in. I feel like I see a lot of tired faces, a lot of stressed faces. Caroline, you slept in the mattress firm suite last night. You uh, unjunked your sleep, yeah? Best, best sleep of my life, honestly. Rudy, she brought you along with her. You feeling good? It was delightful. The last two nights were took years off my life, so I at least gained one back last night. You were immune from last night's uh, vote. I'll be taking back the safety necklace now. This will be up for grabs in today's challenge, as well as, of course, another night in the Mattress Firm suite. Last night, you guys sent home Kim, who's one of the sweetest ladies anybody's ever met. Anybody feeling guilty about that? You feel guilty about cursing at her? Well, you know, I was gonna switch it up, but I gotta treat her like the rest of you idiots. <laughs> so you've been here four days, three nights, but boy, do we have a surprise for you guys today. The surprise of a lifetime. Everybody gets one friend, one family member to join you for today's challenge. Caroline, we begin with you. Someone who you have known so, so long. A friendship that has been for years on end. Let's bring it at him for own. Come on down. Where's Caroline? Oh my Where's God, Caroline? look at this. Yeah. We got way back. Oh Holy God. cow. My brother. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. So good to see you, Caroline. How does it feel, Roan? Reunited once again, it's been hours. I mean, I've known Caroline for two weeks and it feels like three. Rudy, I know you miss the homies. I miss the homies big time. Is there a homie that you particularly miss? Yes. Is it Nick? It is Nick. Bring out Nick! Yeah. Bring out the homie! Rudy? Yes. Oh my God. It's the so homies good. reunited. What a moment. I missed you. Kiss, kiss. I've missed him so much. I was afraid he wasn't going to recognize me. I just feel really good right now. Rudy, what did you miss most about Nick? Tell him. His cute little smile. Yeah. <laughs> Grace, I couldn't think of anybody for you. It was very tough to think of who you would want to see. But let's bring out one of the fan favorites from season one. Brianna Chicken Fry is here for Grace O'Malley. Who the fuck is this guy? Unbelievable. <laughs> my boy, my boy. Oh Those tits are fresh. Bri. <laughs> Bri. Bri, you look a little different from season one. I can't put my finger on it. New tits. Oh, that's what it is, okay, okay. Jay, we could have brought your wife in. We could have brought your kids in. But instead, we brought Jeff D. Lowe! Let's go. Jeff D. Lowe! Just a regular co-worker instead! Oh, wow! <laughs> my guy, my homie. I Master of services. Well, easy been, choice. It's been days since you've seen your own offspring, but we brought in <laughs> yeah. a guy who sits near you. <laughs> yes. Feels great, right? Yeah, it's my buddy. Jackie, you had friends and family all the way on the West Coast. We thought about flying them in. We didn't do it. I've got your boss, John Feinelberg, oh, here. Let's go. I don't think I've ever hugged you. Wow. I know it's been so long since you've done any real work. I know, I know you don't remember what John, you also don't stand here, you go back there. I know you don't remember what John looks like. He's the guy you used to do podcasts with before you started this. Oh, that's right, that's right. Eddie, you came in from Chicago. I know you miss your boys. White Sox Dave, Cowboy. Instead? It's the season one winner, Tommy Smokes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tears of joy. Eddie, it's great wow. to see you, buddy. Eddie, the Space Jam. <laughs> wow. You got his powers. I got him. You took it from him. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> OK, so let's get into today's challenge. I know you thought that your friends and family were just here for moral support. But oh no, my friends, you will be competing with them today in this challenge. That's right. 
You guys will be a part of the board here. The ring toss is for the contestants. Here's how it's gonna work. Your friend or family member will stand up here on the block. They will drop this hockey puck down the board. Depending on where it lands, you will either be shooting a ring or giving out a ring to a competitor to also shoot. So if you read here, it says take three, give two, take one, lose turn. So depending on where your friend or family member drops it, that's how many ring tosses you or your competitor will get. At the end of three rounds, whoever has the most rings made is the winner of the challenge, meaning you have immunity from the vote and you get another night in the mattress firm suite. Everybody understand? Any questions? Caroline and Roan, you're up first. Roan, step up. Thank you. The puck is yours. Bombs away. Give it a rock. Oh. Lose a turn! Wow! Wow! Completely and utterly anticlimactic. Well done, Roan! You are, you are the worst. All right, round one for Rudy and Nick. Nick. Yeah. How good are you at this? Pretty good. I bet. Did your dad teach you? Shut up. <laughs> Douchebag. Give one! I'm picking Stephen Che, KFC. Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. Just like that. Damn. After the mattress firm sweet? That's who I was gonna pick, so. That's I know. the homies are aligned. Stephen Che. For the yak. Oh. Grace and Brianna. Bree, you're up. Give two. That sucks. Because I, I fucked him the first night, Eddie. For the city of Chicago. No pressure. Oh. Shot number two. Oh, so close, so close. I have a feeling we're gonna be here all day. Calls his shot with the take two. Zero zilch, nada. From Stephen Che. Jackie and fights. Take two. No, there are no redos. But people were talking during it. Eddie and Tommy, take one, give two. Take three. All right, all right. For Eddie, That's the most time. that we've had. <laughs> it's crazy. Three shots for Eddie. Deep breath. Bucket. Yes. Eddie on the board. At the end of round one, Eddie is the only one of you bums to actually score with one ring. On to round two. Give three. O'Malley, shoot three. Oof. Number two with the float. Oh. Two hands, Bob Cousy like under. Ways. Yeah. Wow. This is a ring toss. I had toss been tossing first. it, it wasn't working. What underhand? Toss it like everybody else. <laughs> watch your toe. Like watch so your toe. Brano with the, the frisbee advice, yeah. Ooh, you idiot. She was gonna go underhand, Bob Cousy. Nick and Rudy, give two. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whatever. Caroline's first shot. Very good close. Shot, good shot. Round number two. Ooh. Damn it. Good shots, good shots, so Caroline. Close. Grace and Brianna. Ooh. Down the middle. Take two. Damn. I'm going this way this time. Two handed. Don't you think that's like the kind first of a idea ever. For me? We're about to witness history. Round two. Like a basketball. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little long. Che and Jeff D. Lowe. You, you hit the two last time you called it. Nah, we're, we're wow. Fuck it. Big nuts. Down one. Big nuts. Disobeying his friend and loved one. Jeff D. Lowe, take three. <laughs> Holy shit. Out. Let's go. Do something. Wow. Che, we've had quite a few shots now. Oh, bad. Shot Steven. number two. Do it for Tom Brady. Do it for 12. Bucket! There it is. All right. For the lead. Stephen Che. Bang! Muscle memory from Stephen Che. Next up, Jackie in fights. Give pre. Fuck Just me. about as bad as it gets. Fights, give him to Rudy. Rudy hasn't even gotten a throw yet. He's so rusty. We're going Grace. We're going Grace. <laughs> Grace, three going shots. Grace gets it. Oh, that would have been electric. I told you that's my the dick. Halo method, the I don't think, has ever been done in this game. Let's see it. Let's go. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. One more, though. Now, <laughs> uh, wrapping up round two, Eddie and Tommy. Give three. Uh, Tommy, we got this. A complete turn of fortune. I, I feel bad. Rudy is a throw. All right, Rudy, you're up. Thank you. And Pity maybe we'll Rudy. be friends now? Yes, we'll be friends, maybe. <laughs> that, is, that is a crazy choice. Rudy, frat boy champion of the world. Get on the board. 
buckets right in the middle. Rude boy, number two. Just missed. Third and final shot. Oh! Rim job for the rude boy. All right, on to the third and final round. Stephen Shea in the lead with two rings. Eddie and Rudy tied with one. The rest of you, zero. We got this. Take Give him two! Him. Right on the verge of take three. You're oh. giving out two of them, Caroline. We gotta stick together. All right, Rudy. Rude boy. Get on up there and win this thing, This brother. is a huge two shots. Ooh. Let's go. We got this. Rude boy Junda. Hitting the Z's once again. Damn. You may have another chance right now. Nick stepping up. The third and final drop. Rude boy Junda, take two. Another I the, chance. I want the red. Shot number one. Brick City. Shot two. From way downtown, bang! Rude boy ties it up. The drama. The nice. tension. Rudy and Che tied it two. Grace and Brianna. Take one. Who's who's doing it? Everybody? Oh, I like I you guys a you. lot. I see, we're like a great. Angels in the outfield. Come on. <gasps> oh! oh! Wow. What an unbelievable oh, cock tease that is. Yeah, we believe in you. Who Grace. the hell designed that piece of shit? Che and Jeff, Jeff D. Lowe. You have a chance to take the lead. Go for glory. This guy knows what he's doing. His final drop, Jeff D. Lowe. Take right, two. Right, right. Okay. You have two rings in right now. Water. Chance to take the lead. From downtown, your final shot. Ah, air ball. Nice air shot, ball. Jay. You put your heart into it. Jackie and fights. It's in God's hands now. Give three. The absolute nice try. Nice worst play. possible we'll get it next slot. Time, though. Caroline. Oh, wow. You bury these three, you will be in the lead. First shot. Damn it. Not even close. That's fine. That's fine. Get out A chance team. to still tie. And it's okay. Final shot. Chance to get on the board. Oh. Missed the entire bed. Great. I let okay. him get in my head. I let him get in my head. Eddie and Tommy. Take one. You got one chance. Feels like Tommy's my dad in the bleachers right now. Wow. There it is. Eddie Barstool for the tie. Oh, well. Oh, Whoosh. I got, the, I got the disappointment look. <laughs> your dad, if that was your dad in the bleachers, well, he just disowned you. All right, we officially have a tie between Che and Rudy, two rings apiece. They're now gonna go into overtime. Friends and family are being removed from the equation. You guys now control your own destiny. We're gonna do a coin toss to see who goes first. Each of you get three tosses, and we'll keep going until there's a winner. That's heads. Who's on there, Rudy? Uh, Who's on there, Rudy? Abe Lincoln. Who's on there, Che? George Washington, right? That's right. Nerd, on the back. Nerd. So heads is George, tails is Rhode Island. Call it in the air. Tails number fails. Heads it is. Rude boy. Shout out Abe Lincoln. Let's go. <laughs> che. Red. Got the red. To get on the board in overtime. First shot. On the board! One point, Stephen Che. Like on the left, so. Luck counts no anyway. Problem. Better to be lucky than good. Shot number two. Oh, rim job. Shot number three. Step on his throat. No good. All right, Rudy. Che, on the board in overtime. Rudy, you need one shot to tie, two to win. Getting cocky with the twirl there, huh? Just getting familiar. Feeling with good. Shot number one. Oh. Number two. Another rim job on the Z's to tie and or win. Oh, rude boy goes home. Stephen Che, you are the winner. One ring to rule them all. Congratulations. You are the winner of the safety necklace. Hugs all around from your loved ones. You can put this on your neck. You are safe from tonight's elimination. You also will unjunk your sleep in the mattress firm suite. If you want to do so, you can bring somebody with you. All right, Rudy, Rudy, logical choice. Rude boy, Junda. Um, he earned it. We are Come on down. one shot away. You're up here as well. You will be in the mattress firm suite. You get to unjunk your sleep. You are, however, still uh, available to be eliminated. As for the rest of you, there's a lot to talk about. As you leave, you can say your final goodbyes to your loved ones. 
You never know when the next time you're going to see them may be. And the next time you see them, you may be $10,000 richer. See you later tonight for the final boat. You let me down. <laughs> really unfortunate that Stephen Che won the immunity because uh, I was definitely going to try and get him out. I think everyone was going to try and get him out. As of right now, we're a few hours away from the vote. Caroline is the top target. She cannot be trusted. Um, ironically, she would be going from the mattress firm penthouse to the outhouse to her house. So that's that's the that's the plan for tonight. The risk we run is if we vote for for Caroline, Caroline. if she has the immunity ring, whoever they vote for is going home. Right. So we should look at is hybrid goals. Because what we can do with these numbers is we could go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. The two girls would vote for me. Me and you would vote for Caroline. Them two would vote for Grace. That'd be a three-way tie. It would swing back around. And you three, that'd make a decision. Yeah. And then Which ways I think would be Caroline. Caroline. Yes. Yeah. If there is some weird rule with the ring, then we would just vote Grace. Yeah. This doesn't look great. This does not look great. <laughs> Here, actually, I I'm not sure. loving this. I'm not loving it. This actually, is not like. This actually could be very good for you. Eddie, Che, Rudy, and Jackie, all in one room. I'm like, well, this doesn't look great, guys. Uh, so I just sit on the floor at, at their mercy and say, please, please, please keep me in. Is it something where you will give us your vote tonight? You will vote whoever we tell you to, Caroline. With, yeah. all of, with all of you looking down on me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a position where that I would Because that would save you from tonight for sure. Basically, I can't find anyone because they're definitely all meeting. So I have to find them. Is there a way that we could like test her one more time? Give her like one more chance to, if she has eye learn, eye learn. Well, I don't I even think, want to do that because I I, I, I'm trying to save my own ass at this point now. Holy shit, where are her? Grace gives her word she's going to vote for Caroline. And Caroline has an immunity ring. So that would be, the tiebreaker would then be, who has the next most votes? So let's say you and I also vote Caroline. Then you two would vote Grace, and the only way you get voted out is if she uses an immunity ring, which we don't think she has, but that should that's probably the best offer we can give for tonight because that should save you. So as of right now, here's the plan. I'm going to vote for Caroline. Rudy's going to vote for Caroline. Stephen Shea and Jackie are going to vote for Grace. Grace and Caroline will probably vote for me, which will make it a 2-2-2 two, two, two tie. Unless Grace comes up with that deal, which would save her, and it would make it 3-2-1, three, three votes for Caroline, she'd go home. I said this on Sunday. I don't think I'm the smartest person here. I know I'm the smartest person here. Everybody else is just, you know, trying to get to the other end of the checkers board, but this is chess. Like, you gotta think several moves ahead. Grace is the most logical person to keep around tomorrow. The only fear is like, does she find the immunity ring? It's gonna be hard, because she doesn't have that third clue, which has been destroyed. This might be me completely shooting myself in the foot. I'm gonna tell the girls everything that I know about the guys. And then, because I'm pretty sure that they're working against me, I should have gone against the girls in the first place. But I was just so worried that if I turned down the offer from the guys, they were gonna target me and get me out. So now I need to get out of that. That's the goal. Two days ago, the guys came up to me and said, like, we want to bring you to the final four. We're gonna, like, work with Damn, you. Damn, fuck that. I know, I know. So I was with them for a while. I'm sorry about that, but no, like okay. I just knew it's that okay. if I turned it down, then I, like, I, I would be a target. I, I knew. Okay, I, I figured that you knew. Because like, it was, was pretty like, obvious. It was pretty obvious. I would always get it. No offense. Okay, so they were they were they were trying to do a two a split vote two and two. Mm -hmm. So then I was like I was like that was gonna work. That's why I was like that's gonna mm -hmm. work because then all we had to do was they don't know that my vote was gonna go against them. So I would have just split the whatever. I think I haven't fully like processed okay. it. So I'm like yeah, I, have, yeah. I have something. So has anyone talked to Rudy today? Me. No. Okay. We have, why do you think he is? What do you I think? I don't know. Who the fuck else would have it? And also, when I was talking to him today, and maybe it was me, but he was being kind of like weird. He was like, yeah, like I His whole demeanor has changed. His whole demeanor has yeah. changed. Yeah, completely agree. So Rudy just said, come to the green screen room unnoticed if you can. I'm going to say, you need I'm to in a meeting. 
Okay, she said, sorry, that's they saw that text. I'm meeting with the girls right now. I'll relay info. Okay. Okay, uh, fine. Totally cool. Jackie confesses that she's been with the men the whole time. She's willing to make the change. I don't know if I trust her still. But we came to the conclusion that we have to get Rudy on our side. Let him think that we know he has the ring, even though we, we don't know that. And get him on our side to vote Eddie out. Well, here's the deal. Um, I definitely know that the boys are going to try to vote me out. And okay. this is like... Here's the, the deal is also, I told them that. No, this is the real alliance here. This is the real alliance. We're, getting like, we're not voting for alliance, Rob. we're voting for Eddie tonight. So you can either be in on this. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we talked about last night. Yeah, no, this is the alliance. Like, we're going for Eddie, and like, it can be a tie or it can, we can get Eddie out. Yes. And I, it, well, you bring me in, then it's not a tie. Exactly. Yes. Okay, I'm fine with that. Okay, let's do that. Because it's just get to another day. And to yeah, be totally exactly. honest, like, you guys are the ones I was worried about. So if we're aligned on that. No, we gotta, this is the final for it. Like, unless Che wants another challenge. Okay. New gang. New gang. New gang. Gang gang. All the girls are on my side. I just need to make sure that the girls don't go behind my back. So the two alliances that have formed right now, I am in the unique position of being inside both of them. As it stands right now, there is an alliance of me, Grace, Caroline, and Jackie, in which case they have told me that we are voting Eddie out. And I said, yep, I'm in on that, and I shook on it. Now, in the other alliance of me, Jackie, Che, and Eddie, we have a plan to vote Caroline out. They got me and Jackie to agree to vote for Eddie, and that is the new alliance. Are you serious? No, I'm not saying that's yeah. happening. I'm just saying that we told them yes. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we tell you? You said that like so deadpan. Like, well, All right, you guys Jackie, are Jackie fun. was so scarily convincing in there that I like got scared that she's actually telling, like she actually is going to do it. It was supposed to be the girls, and then it was supposed to be the girls plus Rudy. But Rudy didn't know that I was being serious. He thought I was acting to get information to go back to the guys. I get in a room with the guys and they're all shaken up because they can't tell what side I'm on. It's scary, man. It's scary. I, you know, I, I really looked in the eyes of Jackie and Rudy just now and there was a little bit of doubt. I'll be honest with you. There was, there was some small doubt there and uh, it's one of those things that uh, they're either going to cut my head off or I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be toasting tonight. So there's, there's, <laughs> there's no in between. You have the most golden ticket because you're, we're all getting to the final four, and if you're in the finals, we will vote for you. Yeah, That's okay. the biggest ticket to win. So, Eddie gets one vote. Grace gets two votes from us. Caroline gets two votes from them. So now what we have is a tie. So okay. we tell two, two, two. we tell Grace, like, listen, it's not really, you know, it's the best deal you can cut right now. You will survive, but you have to actually be the one that cuts her off the head. Like, okay. if, you vote, if you vote for Caroline, you advance. And if you don't, and it goes to a re-vote, we will vote you out. Jackie's saying that the boys are gonna vote two votes, Grace, two votes, me. And that's good because it doesn't matter then because the three that go towards the boys will get him out. So it kind of doesn't matter if they vote that, but I think that that's obviously a lie. Like, they're obviously lying to Jackie. Like, so I said, Jackie, they're definitely playing you. That's like so dumb. <laughs> Damn, I'm scared. You don't know if you're safe. Well, it's like scary to me how much I'm dominating this game. So. Can I steal Eddie? Oh, yeah. You gotta do it in here if you're doing it. All right, you're good. Hey, I appreciate that. What is she, what are you doing? I'm, I'm hiding. I'm getting crazy. Okay, I don't know if I can trust Caroline. I personally just think it'd be in your best interest to be involved for Caroline tonight. And, and, and why is that? Just because that's that's just the direction we're going. And then obviously... Can you say straight out that you're voting out, right? Yes. Okay, I'm voting. I'm, okay, fine. You're in? Yep. All right, deal deal made. Deal made. All right, sorry, thank sorry. You. I no, know, you're good. and thank you for letting me come in here. You're good. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. I have literally been running around. Maybe we just have for like an hour. Here's the deal. Each of us need to go to Rudy and be like, hey, the plan's right, solid, right? I should be like, I'm not kidding about, like, I'm in an alliance with them now. Like, you can either join us. Or, no, like, and we all need the three go together. Yeah, I know. But I don't where's Eddie right now. Oh, in confessionals. Let's all go up there. 
then we're walking in the hallway, O'Malley asks Jackie to stay back with her and starts having a conversation with her. Jackie's like, what the fuck, O'Malley? I don't trust Grace anymore now. I'm running. That was shady. What's that? That was shady. That was shady. What did you say? I, I'm, yeah. And I was like, Grace, what the heck was up with that? And she was doing her Boston accent, which means she's lying. That's me. Uh, no, wait, when you, when you, when you wish upon a star. Okay, you guys are going. No, 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 no. She's, I'm sorry. It makes no difference. What did you, what did you, Grace? Who you are. Then she sang a song, which was so weird. So she's not capable of lying. So I know she's lying. Everything you dream. Are you just singing because you're nervous right now? No. Grace, what is going on? If you voted to me, like, let me know so I can like, try and make a plan. I was so honest with the girls. I was going to flip it to the girls. We had a whole plan. But then Grace just pulled me aside after we had all figured everything and just goes, I'm going with the guys. And then Caroline saw, so then Caroline was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Now I'm kind of afraid that you don't trust me and I shouldn't trust you. That's spooky. I don't mean to be spooky, I just didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't know what the fuck to think right now. Yeah, Grace, you're no, freaking us out. I'm not trying to freak anyone out. Well, you gotta be honest with us. Okay, okay, then I don't wanna all go to Eddie. That's fine. I would right. Eddie right now, later. Grace is freaking out right now and I'm freaking out right now because all the girls need to stick together and Grace just ruined the whole plan. I was gonna vote Rudy, but since Grace just pulled me aside, said, I'm going with the guys. Now I'm thinking about voting Grace. I don't think that anybody knows what the fuck to think anymore. Here's, here's how it's going to go. <laughs> you want me to tell you? Yeah, no, a thousand percent. Okay. Well, do you have the, you have the safety right? I, being straight up? I do not have it. I cannot have it. Well, if you do, it's my turn. Well, well I, you're going to go. Okay, well, bye. I don't have it. Then Che told me, he's like, I know you have the immunity. You didn't look last night, so I'm voting you out. I straight up don't have the immunity. I'm not bullshitting. I'm just I'm telling you how it's going to go. And you asked if this is how it's going to go, and you want to know. I know I want to know, just but it's just a bummer. Because I, I agree. straight up don't have it. I like all you guys. Then O'Malley pulls all the guys into a room, and I'm like, hey, can I talk to them really quick since, like, I, you know, I'm at risk? And she was like, no. In the past two hours, it, it has went from a team to a dictatorship with Caroline. Yeah. And she doesn't really realize she's doing it. And I, I know what I look like right now, like a, a total traitor, but like, I don't want to be like bossed around. And at the end of the day, we're all being honest to let you know, like, listen, we're, yeah, we're not, again, with Caroline, I'm not trying to blind sign anyone. This is just kind of how it works out. We have to survive another day. And then, again, who knows? After I was thinking about flipping, just because I felt like the guys were working against me, I kind of, now I'm thinking that they probably weren't, but I needed to at least try and shake up the game because I trust the girls a lot more than I do the guys. I mean, I have to vote in 30 minutes and I don't know who the fuck I'm voting for. It's literally a game of inches. It's a thought game, but when we're all in the same office together, you just gotta get lucky bounces with how you're walking around. We have 10 minutes left before elimination. Do I look nervous? Five minutes before the vote, Jackie sends me a text message. It says, vote Grace. It was a hidden message. I click on it, it says, vote Grace, delete this text. Jackie's the only person I trust in this game, so I'm voting Grace. After sequel elimination, I wanted to throw up for two hours after, which I did. Something you'll learn after doing this for a few days. That throw up is kind of good. Welcome back to the third elimination. Put your torches up against the wall. Find your stump. You guys know the drill by now. You're all pros. Take a seat. As you see, our council has grown by one member. Content Kim is here after just getting absolutely obliterated in the vote last night. Yes. Six one for Kim. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. I know I am ashamed of myself for saying fuck in front of you. So I can't imagine how they feel. Uh, how do you feel? A little betrayed, but yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you will be able to be a part of the council who decides who wins the $10,000. So if you feel betrayed, you'll have your chance. So uh, we will get into tonight's elimination. Um, obviously, it was a six to one vote. Everybody was on the same page last night. Is that orchestrated? 
Rudy? Yeah. Um, to be totally honest, I kind of wanted to go a different direction, but... Who'd you want to vote off? Uh, I can't remember her name. It's a girl, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. But um, at the end, I <laughs> had to go with the safe bet. Do we feel like the vote tonight is everyone on the same page again? No. Is it a unanimous? <laughs> no? No. A lot of laughs, a lot of no's. There's a very basic male and female thing that would have probably been very easy. The girls just stuck with the girls. They had their numbers, four versus three. If you just went boys versus girls versus boys, you would have had the upper hand until all the guys were gone. Was that ever thought about? I think it was discussed, yes. Grace, why did that not happen? Wouldn't it just be easier to stick together with the girls? I don't think you, I think you gotta look at Look at it player by player. It's like you look at girl versus girl. It's like, I mean, oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm a shell of a human being. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I get that, but it's you know, it's a game of alliances, and making alliances is usually hard. But an easy one is just like, hey, we're all chicks, Let's stick together, and you could have just boom, 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 picked them all off, and then let the chips fall where they may for the final four. This now, three, three. Somebody's switching sides, if, if it is still an alliance of, based on gender. Did you, did you flip any of the girls? Are you bringing girls to the guy? I mean, they said, we want to go to the guy's side. I flat out said, you have four, and you're trying to go to the guy's side. They all said, yeah. Have you been trying to recruit chicks? I mean, you are a rude boy, come on. No, I mean, you heard it, you heard it last night. They were, they wanted to come to us. Again, so, it's the rude boy charm, right? Oh, I'd They come I, to you? I guess, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was just me, but uh, if that's how it goes, then I'll play that hand. Okay. Let's talk about the search for the immunity ring. Have you guys been looking around all night? Is that where the is that where the search is going on? Nighttime? A lot of people up till a little past three in the morning. Really? Just canvassing, flipping over everything. Yeah. You running into each other while you're all searching? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's super awkward. It's funny. Uh -huh. I'd say it's more pathetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's rather jarring that you guys have not found an immunity ring by now. Crew. Uh, if there was one person in the group that had an immunity ring but was acting like they didn't, who do you think it would be? Yeah, just based on who was looking last night, Caroline was the first to bed, didn't seem to have, you know, the inspiration to turn everything upside down, and we all ran into each other in the hallways till the uh, wee hours. So you weren't looking last well, night? Well, I didn't know anyone was looking, to be honest. Um, I think if I had the ring, it'd be really dumb to go to bed when everyone's looking. I'm thinking more of like, it's 2 a.m., I'm tired, I, it's a mental game. I don't want to, you know, not be there mentally. Got it. Um, I also have, am one of the only people, apparently, I've never seen a hint. I've never seen a hint, and other people have, so I'm surprised by that exception. Jackie, uh, it's three girls, three guys. Yep. How do you feel about that split right now? Is it is that how it's shaping up to be? Is it three versus three? No. No? It's not. You think that there's a guy working with the girls, girls work, a girl working with the guys? What do you think the breakdown is? I mean, I think tonight's vote will make it very obvious. I think right now it's all pretty out in the open. You'll see. Do any of the girls regret voting Kim off? A thousand percent. Yep. You do? Yep. Yeah. You all do? Yeah. yeah. I miss you, Kimmy. Yeah. Why do you regret it? I think that it was easy and we wanted to, like, you know, not make enemies, but, um, like, I don't know. It didn't feel right in the moment and, like, regret that. I thought you wanted to be a wild card. I did want to be a wild card, but I mean, I think that they think I'm a wild card. I don't feel like I'm a wild card. That's what a wild card would say. I, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> Is there anybody here you don't trust? All of them. Grace, who do you not trust? Myself. <laughs> who, who do you trust the most, Eddie? I know I trust the least. Who's that? Caroline. Oh man, damn. Yeah, that honest. hurt. Yeah, I feel like I've been like a, I don't know, but I, you know, I can't. I don't. Me and Eddie probably know each other the least, so I mean, I can't blame him. Why? Why do you think, trust her the least? Uh, because I know she was kind of riding shotgun on the first uh, vote, 
And I was, that was when you had the three votes against yeah, you? She was pretty instrumental in putting oh, my name in I, there. Oh, I was, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, that was not me. Who was it? I, Tico was saying we gotta like band together. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. We got numbers. Do you believe that? I don't uh, know no, any. I, I, I know Tico was driving the bus. But I, shotgun, I'm not yeah. saying like, yeah. Caroline was pretty comfortable in shotgun being like, yeah, I like that. Is anybody unsure about who they're voting for tonight? Anybody thinking there's still a chance I might flip at the last second? Locked in final answer for everybody? Yeah? Rudy? I don't know. I could go, my wires could get crossed. Jay and, and Eddie nodded. Girls, any chance you'll flip flop, change? No, I'm firm on my answer. Firm? Caroline? I, mean, I, I think I could flip flop, honestly. All right, it's time to vote. Jay, you have the safety necklace. Uh, if you choose to do so, though, you could give it to someone else. They would be safe from the vote. You would be up on the chopping block. Uh, is that something you wish to do, or are you keeping it? It doesn't sound like a great deal for me, so I'll, I'll pass. All right. So that means you cannot vote for Che. You cannot go in there and write his name down. Anyone else is fair game. All right, let's vote. Grace, you want to lead us off? Sure. I had to do what I had to do. No hard feelings. Everything aside, I think you played a good game, but obviously we were on totally opposite sides, so my vote's for you, Caroline. I wish I could say this was hard to do, but I had to do this. So this vote is not the person that will be going home tonight. This is a strategic tactic. the votes in here. Any last questions or comments? Also, if anybody has an immunity ring, now would be the time to play it. Nope? Okay. Let's begin. Vote number one. Goes two. Grace. Thanks. Vote for O'Malley. Vote number two. Caroline. One vote for Grace, one vote for Caroline. The third vote. Oh boy. The third vote is another one for Caroline. Two votes for Caroline, one vote for Grace. Number four, here we go. It's about to get real dramatic. The fourth vote is a third vote for Caroline. How you feeling, Caroline? I'm not surprised, it's all good. Fifth vote. Grace. <laughs> Three votes for Caroline, two for Grace. Caroline, if this is your name, you are eliminated. Final vote is for Grace. We have a tie. Three votes for Grace, three votes for Caroline. So, what we're gonna do here, uh, Grace and Caroline, you are removed from the vote. You four will go vote again. You can only vote for Grace or Caroline. Jackie, lead us off. We're back. 
The votes have been counted. Let's see what we got. The first vote. We can read it. It's for Carol. Yeah, <laughs> we can definitely read it. They told me they couldn't. Okay. Oh, we can. <laughs> the second vote is also for Caroline. Hate to see it. That means one more vote for you. And we're out. And you're out. Let's see what we got. The third vote. It's for Caroline. It's okay. I get it. I was honest with you guys, but uh. Honesty doesn't Honesty usually doesn't win you this far, game. I guess. Go grab your torch. Come on over. Bring it over here, Caroline. I'm I'm thinking about throwing it like Tico. <laughs> your time has ended. Before I extinguish your torch, do you have any other final thoughts or comments? Man, I mean, it sucks, but uh, I guess I'm I'm not as big of a liar as these people, so. Uh, I'll sleep good tonight knowing that. Well, you'll have your time in the council as well. But for now, pack your bags and get the fuck out. Whoa, Clancy. You watch your fucking back. All right. Uh, it was a full sweep for Caroline, all four votes. So uh, you guys flipped. Who flipped their votes? Did you flip? You flipped? Yep. You two flipped? Is that? Agreed upon ahead of time. Correct. You guys discussed if there was. Yep. So you all had a feeling there would be a tie? Yes. <sighs> okay. Nobody here has the immunity ring. We kind of had to smoke out if she had it because she was the most likely, likely suspect. Did you guys really think she had it? Yeah. There you was definitely pretty, a chance you looked she pretty had surprised it. when she didn't play it. There was, there was a very, very good chance that she had it. And we had to do what we had to do to make sure that that if she had it, it was played. If she had played it, what was the plan? We had discussed it, and it was the, the, was vote, the votes were the same. Every, everyone. All right. Well, uh, Che, you are staying in the mattress firm suite tonight. You brought Rudy, Rudy along with you. So Rude Boy and Steven will unjunk their sleep tonight, get a great night's rest. I'm sure you guys need it. The other three of you can return to your corners, your desks, and your floors for a night of junk sleep. And I'll see all of you tomorrow for another challenge. You're dismissed. I'm sad to go home. I'm a very competitive person. Um, but uh, I realized I, I messed up the game around like 3.30 today. And it's a game where it's hard to, you know, make any bad moves. Grace was a snake, that's what happened. I mean, I know that Jackie had my back, and if I had to guess, Rudy had my back. But me and Eddie, you know, we don't know each other that well. We know each other the least. Che, I think that he thought that I was too much of a competitor, he wanted me out. And Grace just didn't have my back. And I cannot wait to be on the Council of Tico, Texas. The only difference is the only person Tico hates is Jackie. The only person I trust is Jackie. So, but I'm excited. I'm, I think Tico's hilarious. <laughs>